Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting and how to divide, merge, and add cells to tables in Word. So firstly, we'll go up to Insert, then we'll go to Table, click on the drop down, and I'm just going to select one cell. So here we have a cell in our table, and I'd like to divide this cell in half. Select the table or select the cell by putting your cursor inside. Go up to table layout and then go to this icon here that says split cells. Click on it and you'll have this little menu. So for your columns, you can divide two, three, four, five columns and the same rows. But because we've only got one row at the moment, we could split it. They will be very thin rows, but I will show you how you can effectively split rows when I've done the columns. So here you can see we want two columns. You can use these up and down arrows to select your choice and then click OK. So now we have two columns or two cells. And what we can do by putting our cursor in this cell here, go to table layout and you can click insert below and that will create an identical row of cells in your table. If I increase that number by clicking insert below a number of times, I can then show you how to merge. So let's just click a few cells we want to merge. So click and drag across these three cells. Once again, go to table layout, but this time go to merge cells. And as you can see, those cells have merged. So let's split this into two columns, split cells, two columns, click OK. We've now got two cells here. Now, if you select the two cells either side of a cell dividing line, you can hover over the top of it. When it changes, click, you can actually move it left and right and completely customize those cells. So if I wanted to split this into some more rows, I'd have to expand the height of these rows around it. So select the table, go to table layout, go to height. I'm going to select it and press one for one centimeter and press enter. You can now see the height has been increased on these cells. So we've got a little bit more room. Then we can go to this cell here, go to split cells number of rows. Let's go to three and click OK. But let's say you only actually wanted two. What you want to do is merge these two here. Go to merge. Perfect. You won't be able to move this one up to the middle because it does correlate with the one that you've created over here. But where we can move dividing lines is in the columns. So if I select these two cells, hover my cursor over this line here, I can just move this one line over and I can put that anywhere I like. The rows are a bit more challenging. They have to fit with the other rows, but the column lines, you can move wherever you want to to suit your text. So what we can do is also split cells into multiples, split the cells, Uncheck merge cells before splitting. Increase the number of columns, let's say to seven. Click OK. Got multiple cells here. Let's say, for example, you wanted to move this line over to create a little bit more space in this first cell here, or these first cells, maybe for a title or something. But you wanted all the rest of these to be the same size. If you select the ones you want to be the same size, Go to table layout and select distribute columns. It will make sure that the ones that you have selected are exactly the same width. Additionally, if you've got a particular cell height you want, select it, go to table layout, go to the height, and then perhaps choose five centimeters and press enter. And you can obviously change the height of those cells as well. And again, you can go to split cells, increase the columns or the rows and click OK. And there you have those cells there. And once again, you can move the individual lines if you need to. 
make sure you select the cells left and right of the line so word knows which line you're referring to then we can highlight all four distribute columns perfect so i hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day